it's good to get some warm water up in there. Your butt and your back and your stomach. Now you need pads for your breasts too. <laughs> Hi you guys, my name is Destiny. If you're new here, I currently live in Virginia Beach and I just had a baby a little over six weeks ago. So I want to talk about surviving postpartum. I haven't done a sit down video in a while and I specifically haven't talked about the baby or what things are like having three children now, my body changes and things like that. So I wanted to come to y'all, you know, a little one-on-one, -on -one, a little bit more intimate and talk about the things that have helped me during this postpartum. But before we get started, I want to thank all of my new subscribers. Thank you guys so much. I see that you guys are loving my 24 hours with a newborn video and a lot of you are having babies and you guys, other kids are in school just like me so I don't feel like I'm alone because y'all this is a journey having a newborn and having like a seven and an eight year old is so different it's wild it's crazy it gets chaotic around here but anyway let's talk about the things that have helped me during this postpartum journey I want to start off with what they gave me at the hospital because that's really really important I did briefly go over all the things they gave me at the hospital in my 24 hours of the newborn video so those are the things they gave me and they sent me home with a bag of stuff so let me show you in the bag they gave me some chucks they also gave me a ton of these underwear I didn't actually use the chucks but I did use these underwear because they feel really good it's just like something stretchy it's not tight on you it gives you room to breathe breathe so I really like these hospital underwear they gave me three different size pads so this is the pad that you put on like when you first have your baby because there's like a bunch of stuff coming out of you I promise you it's a ton and then after maybe like a few hours it's time to change that pad and then you change into this pad it's much smaller it's not as big as this like this covers your entire butt like your butt and your back and your stomach and then some okay like this pad is huge but this one isn't as big and then for the next few weeks you'll be using something like this it's just a regular pad it doesn't have wings on it so I'm not a huge fan of this they also provide you with some ice packs a water bottle for your vagina because it's good to get some warm water up in there mm, spread it around I was also provided with some witch hazel pads and some numbing spray I don't know where the numbing spray is like I have no idea where that thing is but it helps tremendously I promise you now that we have covered what they actually give me at the hospital I want to talk to you guys about what I actually use once I got home so like I said before I really enjoyed these panties however I needed something with a little bit more support so I had my husband go to Victoria's Secret and just get me some regular panties you can opt for like Hanes or any other brand you like but I only wear Victoria's Secret it's just a personal preference of mine so that's what I wore as far as pads are concerned I bought these Japanese pads before I left Japan if you guys are unaware I did live in Japan for three years and I have a whole video on what kind of sanitary items I use while I was there but these are the pads that I absolutely love these are the overnight pads I'll leave a picture on the screen as well pads are amazing these are the ones that have the wings on them Let me open it up. so these are the ones that have the wings on them they're like right here I love these pads they're really long and they caught everything that was coming out I use these pads in particular for about a week or so and then my bleeding started to decrease once it did decrease I used these pads I love these before I even had a baby these were the ones that I used like every month for my cycle I only have one left. I'm so sad. So if any of my friends still live in Japan, send me some send me some pads, okay? Because I need them. These pads also have wings as well, and I'll leave a picture of them on the screen. I ended up running out of all of my Japanese sanitary items, which made me so sad. But I did go to the store and I found this brand. This is 100% pure cotton ultra thin pads. I really like these pads. I just wish the adhesive was a little bit better. The adhesive on my Japanese pads are really, really, really good. But on these, it just needs to be like a tad bit better. But nonetheless, these were pretty good as well. I've used like 60% of them already. Okay, now that pads are covered, let's talk about washing that area. Because I had a first degree tear, my doctor specifically told me that I could not take baths, but it was imperative that I spray that area down with water just to make sure that it's clean. Like I said, they do give you this bottle at the hospital. However, I'm not gonna hold you. This Freedom Mom Perineal bottle is 
bomb.com if you don't get anything from this video you guys have to get this bottle this bottle is so fire so you fill it up with water and you just turn it upside down and spray that area <laughs> talk about get in there yeah yeah y'all yeah. yeah, yeah. got that song okay if you don't i just put you on anyway this bottle is so fire this bottle is okay but you really just you're really just like trying to get the water up, trying to get the water up in there, but it just, it just don't get it very good. But this one, because the tip is angled and it has like two areas where it sprays out of, it's fire. Dang, it was still water in here? Oops. Anyway, you guys have to get this bottle. Freedom Mom also has these cooling pad liners if you're interested. I didn't end up using them, but if you need that soothing relief, I would suggest these as well. Also provides ice packs if you need them and an array of other products. I will leave some more on the screen if you're interested. I did use the ice packs as well for about three days, but after that, I didn't need them anymore. Plus these ice packs are very, very bulky and it just like creates like a huge situation down there and it's not it's not cute not that you're trying to be cute during postpartum but this just i just I, I, I didn't need it, okay? I just didn't need it. After getting home, I also didn't use the witch hazel either. It just wasn't necessary for me. But I did have to use the spray still. I used it for about two or three days after I got home. And then I didn't need that anymore as well. Also, let's talk about soap. I only use one kind of soap. And that soap is made from goat's milk. Um, I will leave the link in the description box as well as a picture on the screen of what the soap looks like. It's unscented. It doesn't have any thing any any chemicals anything like that so i did use that on my vagina but that was it just soap and water girl and we were good to go also i highly recommend having a basket of these items in your bathroom or any other bathroom that you use around the house i only use two bathrooms in my house the one in my bedroom and the one downstairs so i have baskets with my pads and my panties the hospital panties if i need them if i have an accident or something like that i also have the spray bottle and some wipes in that basket y'all need to have these items in the bathrooms that y'all use it's imperative because ain't nobody going in no cabinet going up and down the steps just to find something to clean a situation up so i highly recommend having a basket nearby so that you can just fix your situation quickly okay make it as seamless as possible now this does not apply to everyone but i am a breastfeeding mom i did breastfeed my boys and i'm also breastfeeding my daughter at the hospital i was provided medela nipple cream i actually really love this stuff i have like 10 of these <laughs> i have like two downstairs two upstairs two in her diaper bag like i have these things everywhere these were provided for me by the hospital like i said so i haven't had to buy any nipple cream and i'm also not using it anymore but this stuff is so fire like it coats your nipples very very well i only use this when i get out of the shower after my nipples are clean and it just coats the nipples really well i will say though that sometimes it will start the letdown process so my breasts will become like tingly and i can feel my milk coming down and it's not always time for her to feed which is like a downside however when i was using this other nipple cream when i had my son it did the same thing so i think that all nipple creams are created equally but I do like this Modella nipple cream. And because they provided me with so many, I haven't had to buy my own, which was clutch. Okay, now that we're done talking about pads for your vagina, now you need pads for your breasts too. I have three different kind of breast pads, okay? I have the Modella one, I have a Target brand, and I also have the Lancelin. I think that's what it's called. The Modella brand is a really thick pad, like... It's very, very thick. So if some of you moms are overproducing milk, I would highly suggest the Modella brand. The Lancino brand is really good. It's actually my favorite. I like the pad. It's not very thick and bulky, and it also has a really good adhesive on it. Lastly is the Target brand breast pads. Now, I like these as well, but the adhesive is not really good. I just feel like it's okay, but it's not great. So the Lancelin brand and the Target brand are my favorite. However, one of my breasts does produce more milk than the other, and that's my right so sometimes i have to use the modella brand in my right breast because this is the one that kind of leaks more as far as bras go i wear all the bras that i wore pre-pregnancy specifically sports bras though i did purchase two nursing bras girl one of the nursing bras clip fell off and i just didn't feel like sewing it back on so i just ended up not using it really for me i honestly don't feel like nursing bras are a necessity because i'm in the house most of the time i'm a stay-at-home mom and it's not like i go out with 
very often so when I do go out I do wear my nursing bras but it's not anything spectacular I don't feel like it's a necessity for me so I do wear all of the bras that I wore pre-pregnancy but mainly sports bras if you're not a breastfeeding mom I do have a pump recommendation for you I did get my pump through TRICARE so I didn't have to pay for it and it is the LV pump I did get the corded pump so here's the cord oh my gosh Here's the cord. Um, so you just hook these pieces up to... Where'd you hook the pieces up to? Oh, <laughs> you hook it up to the front of the pump. And then you turn it on and it goes from there. I've actually only used this pump one time. And that was when I became engorged when she first got home. But I haven't used it since then. I probably should so I can have a milk stash. But I don't because I don't want my breast to overly produce milk. Plus, like I said before, I am a stay-at-home mom. I don't necessarily need a stash of milk right now. However, this pump is fire, okay? You just clip it onto yourself and it just goes. And if you use the nipple cream and then put this on, it'll definitely stimulate your breasts like your baby is actually sucking. Also, for overproducing moms or if you have let down on one side, I highly recommend the Hakka. Mine is actually dirty, so we're not going to talk about that. However, I really do like this silicone breast pump. I don't even even know what you call it oh a silicone breast pump I was right I really do like it you just pinch it and then put it on there and, and it'll let down your milk last two things and I'm out of here I promise because I'm a breastfeeding mommy even if you pump feed like pump and then put your milk in a bottle highly recommend drinking water now this bottle <laughs> is not a fancy bottle this is the bottle that I actually got from the hospital um, I do live in Virginia so I went to Chesapeake Regional to look to deliver my baby and all of the staff and everybody was so nice the food was trash but I think all hospital food is trash but listen, the hospital staff was amazing. All of my nurses were amazing. Everybody who came in my room was so kind and so patient. And they were just amazing. Anyway, back to the cup. I drink about three of these a day. This is 32 ounces. And I love this cup. Like, it reminds me that I do have a baby. You can use whatever cup you want. But I use this cup faithfully. And I don't have any problems. It has a straw. I can see how much water I drink. It's perfect. This hospital cup, however, is the cup that I use like majority of the day. But if it's upstairs and I'm downstairs, I'll just grab this one. Most of the time this is upstairs because I do use this mostly at night. And this Starbucks cup, I don't even know how many ounces this is. I don't know, but I got it in Japan. I got it from a um, Starbucks in Japan. Okay, this is the very last thing snacks okay I don't know about you but I'm a snacker but I like healthy snacks okay I'm not out here eating chips and dip all day snacks are imperative you can have whatever kind of snacks you like but my doctor recommended that I have walnuts so I have a basket by my bed where I have snacks water and it's usually healthy snacks okay I do have chips in there periodically but most of the times it is healthy snacks and shout out to my friend Amber for giving me this cute basket we can talk about the other things that are in this basket as well in another video as a mom who is breastfeeding, it is imperative that you have enough nutrition, that you are drinking enough water, and that you are eating enough. Now, I do have three meals a day, but I also have snacks periodically. And sometimes in the middle of the night, your girl gets hungry. So a peanut butter cracker can soothe that craving. Also, a brownie can soothe that craving. Girl, apples and peanut butter can soothe that craving. Craving. Why, why can I say craving today? Like craving. It's a V. A V, Destiny. Pull it together. Uh-oh, my boo is waking up. Anyway, that is all for this video. I hope you guys have enjoyed and took some tips and some tricks from here. I have some more videos coming for you guys. I want to talk about my body, the way it's changed since having baby number three. I also want to talk about things that are different between having a son and having a daughter. So I have so many more videos coming for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share where you share videos. And I will catch you guys next time. Bye! I'm <laughs> <laughs>